Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Miss Angel Baby, and I am back with another video. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So anytime I drop a video, you will be notified. Now everything in this video is either alleged, my thoughts or opinion, and or my perception. We're going to be talking about the Baddies Caribbean audition, y'all. Now, I know y'all seen that trailer. So we're going to be talking all about it and I'm going to be giving y'all my thoughts and opinion. Now, I don't know about y'all, but for me, the auditions is one of my favorite parts. It's so entertaining. It is so funny. Well, for Baddies Caribbean, it looks like they have Natalie Nunn, Spice, Spice, my Jamaican Spice, Taseki, Scotty, Anna Mac is back, Biggie, Mariah, Lynn, Y, and Shinsia, and of course Bobby Lights, and Nene, Nene was like, I cannot get enough of this Zeus money, honey. If Zeus is paying like they say, then y'all know Nene gonna be around for a while. She ain't going nowhere. Now let me tell you, these girls for these auditions for Batty Caribbean, these girls were turned up to the max, y'all. Let me tell y'all. They had these girls singing, twerking, and slapping each other. But one thing that I don't understand and I will never understand is why would someone be willing to go through all this humiliation and still not get picked to be on that show now y'all know because y'all see it every year they have all these girls come out and audition they give away tons of tickets telling them they're going to the next round and then we don't see them anymore we might they might pick one or two girls if we're lucky and everybody else that's on the show is either returning baddies or natalie's friends even though it is entertaining, I wouldn't be the good person that I am if I still didn't mention, ladies, you are better than that. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to go around fighting and twerking and showing everything just to be seen. And trust me, we are not laughing with you. We're laughing at y'all. Now, some people have shared their past experiences with being at the baddies auditions and they have described it as just terrible you guys they have said they were left out in the heat at some point in time for many hours with no food no water and they were allowed to get all liquored up and by the time they got to the judges they were hot they were irritated drunk and they were ready to fight and we've seen that we've seen it time and time again and it's not going to be any different this time in my opinion Hey, I'm here for all the shenanigans now what I wanted to do is I wanted to pick what would be my favorite cast if I had a choice these are the girls that I would want to pick to be on baddies now I picked 10 girls and the first girl I picked was Anna Mag why because she's funny and she's wild Biggie we already know she's big Dominican and she's funny now to seek it she can come but she got to stay turned up the whole season like she was at the reunion. Otherwise, persuasion can take her place. Now, number four, I have Liddy from Now That's TV. I feel like her and E.T. would be good on there. The sixth person that I want to be on there is Sapphire. But I want her to be on that show by herself without Suki. The seventh person would be Razor. The eighth person would be Red from Bad Girls Club. Why? Because Red is so funny and I feel like her and Natalie would just be going at it all season. The ninth person that I picked was Rocky from BGC. Remember Shan Rock? Yeah, Rocky. The other person, the last person that I picked y'all was Jennifer from bad girls club remember her and rocky used to go at it all season now that would be my 
ideal cast. What do you guys think about that? What would be your ideal cast? If you could just pick like the top three or something like that. Who would you guys pick? Another thing I want to mention. This Shinsia, I thought she was Ruby Rose, y'all. She looks exactly like her. And she's very gorgeous at that. She don't look like she's ready for what's about to come. And another thing that Natalie did mention was that Smiley was going to be in the parking lot of the auditions. So hopefully they'll show some of that shenanigans. And then again, maybe they won't because Natalie said that if Mariah Lynn and Smiley wanted to do something, they got to go in the parking lot. Because Natalie said this is a new season and she ain't finna deal with Smiley. She's done. I am excited to see my girl Spice though. Because I'm like, where do you come from? Like, what are you going to be doing, Spice? Spice is everything. Spice can be turned up. She will square up. And she makes no apologies. Well, I hope that Spice is actually going to be on the season. And she's just not there for show. Because I'm really looking forward to seeing Spice. Another person that we may get to see on the show, you guys, and I hope it does happen. I hope it's just not rumors, is Donna. Donna Lombardi, y'all, from New York, from Black Ink. Like, where's my girl Donna? I don't know. I hope that's true. But if that's true, then you know Sky's got to tag along because they got some history, both good and bad. Well, I don't know. We're just going to have to wait to see. And I'm excited for it. So y'all know it comes out on March 3rd. So y'all want to make sure y'all subscribe. Have the notification bell on. Because your girl will be doing reactions and recaps. Now guys, I wanted to mention something. One thing about us doing these reactions or anything like that. There's always something new coming out. Something going on. When I first started to prepare this reaction... I had no idea that I was going to be speaking on a serious topic involving Natalie. Now, Natalie went to the Nicki Minaj concert, y'all. I believe it was yesterday, last night. Well, there's some questionable video circulating around of Natalie. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this video. And I'm pretty sure when I show you, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. guys when I first seen that clip I was thinking like what the hell is wrong with Natalie but I thought I was tripping so I went straight to the comments and they all was just going in y'all they all believed that Natalie was under the influence of something and I agree that's what I was thinking one person writes oh yeah she on one another person writes she looks snowed out another person's right it's giving coca-cola vibes if you know what I mean no not natalie and that's exactly what i was thinking like natalie has so much pressure she's super busy she's always working and it's like and now she's hanging out with bobby lights she don't need to be hanging out with bobby i know she a grown woman but she really does not need to be hanging with bobby now of course we have no way of knowing for sure if natalie is under the influence But in my opinion and from past experiences, I believe that she is. And for that reason, I just hope that Natalie doesn't take it too far. In other words, she realizes that she really needs to stop and just focus on being the boss that she is. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time. Bye guys. Oh God, God.